Hello, Mrs. Dawn here, aka your Kanika Slave. And it is late. I just got finished doing a stream on my gaming channel. I haven't really been putting no content on this channel for a while. Been pretty busy. But I decided to do a recording today, a random spur of the moment recording. Um Okay, me and my husband got to talking, right? Because I saw this person, I was going through Facebook. And you know when you have mutual friends, you know how they have like recommendations of people. So I happened to look over and I saw a name I recognized, right? Now, this chick, I used to work with her and... For some reason she has some type of issue with me I don't know why I don't know if it was over I don't know it was over bullshit because one minute me and her could have be having a like a decent conversation we'll have a decent conversation with each other talking about books books she like to read and things like that and then when she get around a certain group of people she switch up she start, she'll start saying things like, she won't talk to me. And she'll start saying things like, oh, I like being fake. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'll be, I, I like being fake. I like being fake. So, <laughs> this one particular time, we had to rotate. So, I had the arch. I used to work with airport security. I had the arch coming from, I think, the x-ray machine so both me and her was working both working the front arch that's the metal detectors in case you don't know so we had to work side by side together and she looked at me and she was amongst her peers her peers was like on this side i'm on the other side minding my business trying to see if any passengers gonna come through she gonna look me up and down like this I don't know if you can say that. She looks me up and down like this. And then going to look at her friends. Pointing to me while looking at them. And say, what is this it doing here? I'm looking around like, bitch, you want for the bed? This woman next to me, she was like going to church. At that time, I was a new born of me in question okay i was doing the fake like really like renewing my relationship with god and everything like that it took everything in me not to choke the hell out of that bitch this one it was this woman who was going to choose she was a church going or whatever like that she had to calm me down because you should see the way i looked at her after she said that she had to walk away from because I literally wanted to choke her. Like, how dare you? And this chick at the time straight up looked like she didn't bathe. She, her uniform was always like unkempt. Like, it was just like, she's like raggedy. <laughs> you know, I come into work, I ch you know, I, I used to do my own hair. Y'all saw, I showed pictures of how I looked back then when I did airport security. I showed little pictures how I looked when I had the short hair, when I had the weave. I don't think I showed too many pictures of me when I had the weave, but I got tons of pictures to show you what I looked like back then. And I used to rock contacts back then too. So, for this chick to say that to me, and I was always well put together. When I came to work, because you never know who you want to run into. You see celebrities, you see all kinds of people. I've met senators, everybody everybody from all walks of life come through the airport, right? So you have to, we have to look presentable. She used to always look like she just straight up rolled out of bed, threw on her uniform, and came to work. Okay, so I didn't have no understanding like what she had against me. But, 
Okay, eventually she her ass got fired because she wasn't hardly coming in to work. She was just slouchy. She was just a horrible worker. But anyway, she was like, what is this it doing here? Like, why these raggedy motherfuckers always want to call me a it when they look like they straight up crawled out a fucking dumpster? I'm not, tr- I'm not playing. No bullshit. They look like they crawled out a dumpster and they call me a it. Huh? So anyway, I saw her. Now, this happened, this happened years ago. Okay, keep in mind, this happened like around maybe 2000, 2000, 2001, right? So, you talk, that that was years ago. You talk about almost 20 years ago, actually. So, her name popped up in my recommendation. Recommendation. So, I was curious. I didn't contact her. I ain't saying shit to her. But some people, I know from experience, some people, they feel some type of way. People that you even think you were probably cool with. You know, you might have that co-worker you was probably cool with and y'all had a decent conversation and you, like, hit them up on Facebook and they be like, mm, can you not contact me? What? What the fuck did I do? Well, you didn't do anything. And I don't got nothing against you, but can you not contact me or friend me? Well, okay. Fine. Well, not contact, but friend. You know, because I used to friend everybody. I don't friend everybody no more. I don't do that shit no more. Because I have received a few times. I would friend people and people that I probably thought that was, I was you know, that I thought was cool. And I'm talking about people I actually seen face to face. I actually worked with, went to school with. Would hit me up, be like, "Can you stop friending me?" What? I don't want to really. I don't want to really accept you as a friend. But okay, so why didn't you just block me? Y'all ain't dumb. Dumb as hell. Okay. But anyway, I mean, they really think shit is about them. It's like, um, I friend every anybody. But okay, you could easily hit the block button. Instead of hitting me in the inbox, typing, you could have easily hit click block. That's simple. So, I'm getting the feeling that you always wanted to say that to me, but you was too scared to say it in person. You always had something against me. But anyway, back to this bitch. So, I see you on Facebook. I really shouldn't be calling her a bitch because maybe she have changed. That's a big maybe. I see her on Facebook. Okay, she looked like she looked a little bit decent, a little bit more ladylike over the years. And I saw she was married, but now she's with another dude. And it seemed like When I met her, she went from bad to better to worse. Bad to better to worse. Like, where you you get at? You supposed to age like fine wine. When you get older, you're supposed to age like fine wine, okay? Not sour grapes. Like she went from looking like she crawled out of a dumpster to looking halfway decent like a lady to straight up looking like a butch. I'm just saying. Some people might take offense at the word butch. I mean, like, not even on stud status. At least studs look decent and take a little bit more pride in how they look. I'm just saying. Studs is like, 
are lesbian lesbians that look like males but they're more they're put together they dress good they smell nice they keep their hair you know together i mean mm. i say she's a lesbian i don't know she claims she got a boo i don't know and i see she was doing lives and it don't seem like she changed all that much it didn't don't seem like she changed all that much mm -mm. like this chick is when i met her i straight up i didn't really encounter her like that because i straight up think she really had a mental illness i'm not trying to be funny and i know the signs and i see it you know i grew up around that shit she straight up had all the signs of having mental illness. Like, she would literally act one way around me. And in a split second, act totally different. And I'm like, that's not normal. She's a whole different person. That Oh, what's that it? And then, I, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. When she was talking about, what's that it? Showing off, acting like she walking away and acting like she trying to sneak up on me. Just to see if I'm going to talk about you. Nah, bitch, I'm going to say what I got to say in your face. I'm not going to talk about you behind your back. I'm going to get in your face. <laughs> I was ready to lose my job that day. For real. But then she got on the phone out like she trying to call somebody or whatever. Because, you know, they good for that. Cop you on the phone, call the motherfuckers, try to jump you. They good for that shit. Mm-hmm. But anyway... Okay, that was around, it was before break time. I remember that. We rotated, it was before break time. The first break was at 12.30. I shit you not. And I went to my manager. I told my manager, I said, move me because I have a feeling it's going to be an issue. She said, what's the matter? What's the matter? Anybody mess with you? The manager at the time was on some bullshit too. She was. She was on some bullshit. And she was in cahoots with these these people. Okay. I said, Miss So-and-so, whoever the manager name is, if you don't move me, there's going to be a problem. I suggest you move me. She said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move you back. I'm going to see you back when, you know, during the break time. I said, thank you. So for the rest of the night, what they did, they rotate me on the other side, away from her little buddies, her and her little buddies. They rotate me, they put me on the other side in isolation. I was cool with that. Guess who relieved me from the other side? That same chick that was like, what is this it doing here? Now she was doing all that rah-rah-ish, right? Why am I freezing? I'm freezing. Oh, okay. She was doing all that rah rah bull. What's that it doing here? Blah blah blah. She believes me on the other side in isolation. She had the audacity to start a conversation with me. Real calmly. I I kid you not, this bitch is mentally ill. I said, I knew this bitch was mentally fucking ill. She was, she went from, what is this it doing here? What is this it doing here? Walking up on me. See if I'm going to, I mean, like, literally walking up on me. I'm like, bitch, is something wrong with you? And then she'll walk away and then go over there talking shit about me. Going over there where the pay phones is at. Acting like she calling somebody, looking at me. Like she about to call someone on me. I'm like, yeah, okay. I remain calm because I'm a lady, right? I still did my job like I supposed to. I'm a freaking lady, even at that age, right? So, she relieved me. She went from that to, what time is it? I kid you not, that's what she asked me. I could remember this like it was yesterday. She said, what time is it? I said, are you here to relieve me? I said, I was not kind to her. 
I say, are you here to relieve me? She said, oh, yeah. This bitch literally tried to start a conversation with me. Like, she was just talking about random stuff. Child, I don't even know what she said. I walked away from her while she was talking to herself. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And before that, she would say things like, when she got around her people, she would look at me, cut looks at me and say things like, shoot, I'll be fake. I'm okay with being fake. I'm okay with being fake. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm go, I'm proud to be a fake bitch, and then cutting her eyes at me. I could talk to a motherfucker and then be fake and don't like you. She literally said that shit out her mouth, and I'm looking like, okay, like whatever. <laughs> I ain't got none of y'all bitches ain't my friends anyway. It ain't like y'all got my personal number or, or whatever. Or I or we go out to lunch or anything like that. It's like fine. I'm, you just a colleague. You're nothing but a colleague to me. Outside this job, I care less if you even <laughs> say two words to me. That's That was my attitude. So I could care less about how you feel. But that bullshit? And then gonna try to fake it. Like, oh, what time is it? With her trying to talk all soft. Oh, what time is it? I said, are you here to relieve me? Yeah, um... Yeah, blah, blah. she was trying to literally start a conversation with me. I walked away from that bitch. I wa that was probably the last time I had any dialogue, any said any words to her. Next thing you know, her ass got fired. I think she got fired maybe a week or so later. About time. That's what I was thinking because a lot of no call, no show. Then when you do show up, you look like somebody, it looked like somebody threw you up. Then you have the nerve to sit there and antagonize and trying to call people, your fellow co-workers, it. Like, are you freaking serious? I dare anybody to put my lives up and my pictures up and her side by side playing together. And see who look like it now, <laughs> okay? Even now in 2019, I dare someone, I dare motherfucker, take this video, take clips to her, put it side by side, and see who look like it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who looks like it? I know I could do that if I want to. I really can. <laughs> and y'all know it. People that know, know I can. But I'm just saying that for an example. Like, I was like, this chick is really fucking sick. So, it, it's, just, it's laughable to me. I know I call her bitch and all that, but, all that kind of shit. But, you know. I won't really say two words to her on the street, really. She might she might try to say something to me. She might try to say something to me. And then her cousin worked with us. That's who she was trying to show off in front of, too, by the way. Her little cousin. And little did she know, her cousin used to, when I guess we were, we, when we were cool, or I thought we were cool, she said we were never cool, so. When I thought she was okay, I guess being fake wasn't the family, but she used to tell us, she used to always beg her for, my, for lunch money and never pay her back. I was like, wait a minute, ain't today Friday? Like, how she, how she don't have any money on Friday for lunch? Like, when I first started working at the airport, we used to have, there used to be sky caps. Like, there's sky caps there. At night, they don't work there at night. But during the day, I started off doing work during the day. The sky caps used to make mad tips. Some sky caps, some, some sky caps will make 
over a hundred dollars a day like they didn't get paid a lot of money back then but they made a lot in tips some made 200 some made 500 in a day so a lot of times what they would do they would get like the pretty the pretty girls like especially if you knew when i was new scott cash used to give me money for lunch i ain't never asked for shit because i'm i'm pisces and we're like we're proud we don't really like to ask people for nothing or ask for help i ain't asked them for nothing actually actually i had bought my own lunch or i have like a little bit for lunch money or whatever for myself they would just like give me money for lunch they're like hey go get you something to eat like thank you and i'm talking about like ten dollars at least just to get you know just to get something to eat and i'm like wow and yeah some females would be fucking jealous sometimes they 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 didn't like that they didn't like that at all there was some begging bitches on there i swear and some of them still too they used to still they used to you know passages put they had baskets and passages used to put their change in the basket they used to they used to take their little change and pocket it oh yeah it was some trifling motherfuckers up in there ghetto as hell but um yeah back to this chick yeah i'm like i see her on facebook like and i ain't saying nothing i kept my distance and i i i looked through her facebook and i blocked her that way she won't see me and I won't see her and it won't be an issue and people won't have to send me inboxes on my son. Don't friend me. Can you like please stop friending me? I don't have a problem with you, but can you like I don't wanna be your friend. Okay, so bitch, why don't you just block me, stupid? That's just dumb, Tiger. Right, Tiger? That's stupid as hell. Dumb as fuck. I think we need a little bit of sushi here. Just a little bit. Mmm. It's shrimp. I like it's shrimp with some other stuff in here. And some ginger. And oh. And if you're going to try to roast somebody especially on here on youtube if you trying to tell somebody off getting them together and everything like that make sure you are smarter than that person okay mm, that was good Make sure you're smarter than that person. And you also want balance. I gotta balance it. Sometimes it'll be like that. Know how to eat with chapsticks. Mmm. Come in. Okay. I'm just saying. Because you're going to look hella crazy out here. There's a lot going on on these YouTube streets. And I'm ducking and dodging, but I peek in from time to time. So I'm just saying. Mm, that was good. I think this is lobster. I feel like a seafood delight or something. Make sure you're smarter than that person. For real. For real, for real. Mm. 
that was the list. I don't know you. Well, I just want to end this recording. Just want to come through with some random thoughts. Like, wow, the thing is, when you see people, when you account for, encounter and come across certain people, good or bad, and how and to see how they turn out i am so glad see social media could be a curse or a blessing or blessing or a curse because you get to see how some people turn out whether good or bad now i'm not saying that i'm all high and mighty and i'm like you know living like high living and whatever like that but i'm okay i think i'm doing good i'm doing good so far you know i'm meeting brand new people interesting people oh my gosh so many interesting people i mean we've been having a ball on youtube i've been having a ball I've been having so much fun. I've never used Discord before until like recently. OMG. I posted certain things that was going on in the Discord. Like ASMR on on this person platform over there. I mean, I just had a good time. Good old time. <laughs> but anyway, I want to end this. And you guys later check everything on the information description box if you want to find me bye